Well, hey there, TikTokers and YouTube Shorts and Facebook Reels people. Um, just doing another video for you guys separately. It has to do with the bus. And there's good news, sort of good news on that. Um, I have uh, a mechanic coming here on Thursday who is a professional diesel mechanic. He has worked at TDL, a company in West Ottawa and I think East Ottawa somewhere. Uh, I've been there with my cement mixers when they needed to be repaired and all kinds of things. So where he comes from is a really good uh, resume kind of deal. And uh, he worked at another place and uh, so, and it turns out we know each other of all things. He worked here like eight or nine years ago. He helped out for a few days doing firewood with I think it was me and Eric. And he might have bought firewood from us as well. So anyways, that's good. Somebody I know, he thinks it's something simple. I, I gave him the description what happened. I gave him what you, uh, YouTube told me and uh, like not YouTube, uh, Google, when I Googled in about these Ford 6.0s and what the problems seem to be with them. And uh, that's the ICP valve, but he doesn't want to pollute his head with that. He's coming in with a, a specialized coal reader for this sort of thing. Uh, he's only charging me $50 for the code read and $50 for an hour diagnostic. He's not going to charge me a minimum because he lives fairly close. Normally he would have to charge, like a, I would say, a four hour minimum. Um, that's what we do with the Starlink stuff. Uh, you have to because of, you know, anyways, uh, he's fine with that and, uh, you know, he's coming here. So, I mean, that's like really, really, really cool. So anyway, the old girl is looking good. Uh, if we get that motor running on Thursday, like if it's quick, quick to go it apart, I'll have him do it right away. And, uh, well, then the, uh, ads all going down, I'm putting the price back to where it should be. And if we don't sell it, well, we'll go camping in it. We'll bring the for sale signs with us. And me and Anna will go a couple places. And if we have to bring it to, uh, to um, um, Sobble Beach this summer, well, that's what we'll do. And uh, there's good news on that front. I won't need to build a carrier and everything for the, uh, for the bus and all that because uh, Anna's going to get her driver's license. So it'll be a little more expensive, but more convenient. Uh, we'll bring the pickup truck, which will have the ATV on the back, the boat, you know, on the trailer out at the back. Um, whichever vehicle she's more comfortable driving, either the bus or the pickup truck, but we're bringing everything. That way there, we have our thing. We don't have to be in a tent. We've got the pickup truck to go do local stuff, uh, you know, and uh, we have the ATV and we have the boat, so. Um, the boat is getting a new battery on Thursday. Hang on. Oh, that's not really easy to swipe. Uh, the boat is getting a new battery on Thursday. No, Wednesday. And then I'm going to pull it up with the ATV so it's on clear land. And uh, a friend worker is going to come in and paint all the rivets with the flexi seal. I want that done every year. And True is going to come by. As soon as I have the motor, and I'm going to see if I can uh, use the 50-gallon drum to uh, fill up with water, and we'll, he will tune up the motor here and everything before I even go out in the water. So uh, I think uh, we'll have the boat ready. We may have the boat ready for uh, the, this weekend. Depends on True. Um, we may have her on the weekend. No, who knows? Anyways, there's still work to be done with her, but uh, uh, she's. I mean, she's she's. As soon as this little bit of work gets done, she's uh, ready for the water, but we have construction that's going to be going on on the boat. We're going to be putting the, the things all back in, putting a little deck back there, fixing up the, the, uh, the, um, fixing up the, uh, blah, 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 the console. So, okay. So there's my update uh, to do with the bus for TikTok shorts and reels. And, uh, yeah, I'll try and be a little more regular with the TikTok. Everybody's telling me to do more TikTok, so I'll do what I can uh, with it. It's just, like, the videos I shoot for YouTube, they're, like, 16 by 9 and landscape. They're not good for TikTok, so I wish they were, but they're not. So, because it would simplify things greatly. 
but I understand it's because of cell phones, the way they're designed. So, okay. Anyways, be good, everyone. Thanks for coming. Please comment. Love them. Love them. Love them. Love them. Uh, Danielle, uh, up at the campground close by. Yes, drop in any old time you want. You'll probably see the video on the TikTok before you see anything else on the YouTube or whatever. So, yeah, drop by. Uh, you know where it is. The bus is out front, so you can't miss it. Uh, and it's not going anywhere. <laughs> so, okay. So that was note to you, Dan, and uh, uh, I'll have a coffee fired up and whatever else. So I, I don't have any beer here. I don't do beer. So sorry, bud. You'll have to bring your own. <laughs> I have hard liquor, but, you know, I probably won't be drinking. So, but I'll definitely have a coffee with you. Although I might give it a splash. You never know. Okay. Anyways, see you guys later. Just wanted to give you that news on this mechanic coming. I'm really happy about it. So his first response was, I don't think it's something complicated. It's pretty simple with these Fords. And I'm like, okay. Oh. So like, like I said, please, okay. Well, thanks for coming. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, peace, long life, and live lopper. Be good to your fellow human. If you want to help out financially or anything like that, well, there's links in the description, uh, PayPal, and all that. Okay. We'll see you soon, everyone. And thanks for coming. I really enjoy talking to some, to some of you, like meaning the ones that comment. I really enjoy that. Okay, bye-bye.